I was astounded to learn that the Sunni Muhammadan scholars of Arabia teach their children in this 21st century that the earth is flat and that the moon landing is a great deception by the unbelievers. Is this true? In the Quran, the word ilm, knowledge, has only one meaning. Knowledge of religion and not of anything else. It is a deliberate lie when Muhammad has pointed out the word knowledge as pertaining to the sciences, arts, and independent thought. Muhammadan scholars have written an enormous number of books claiming that Muhammad was a super genius whose knowledge was stupendous and way ahead of his time. The following are a very small sample of verses and ahadith that show the true state of affairs, and it is left to the listener to evaluate the veracity or lack thereof of such claims. Surah Al-Hijr 15.19 And the earth we have spread out like a carpet, set their own mountains firm and immovable. Al-Nahl 16.15 And he has set up on the earth mountains standing firm lest it should shake with you. Al-Kahf 18.47 One day we shall remove the mountains and thou shalt see the earth as a level stretch. That means that the earth is flat and the mountains are what hold it in stretch. 18.86 Until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it set in a spring of murky water. Near it he found the people. We said, O Zulkarnain, thou hast authority either to punish them or to treat them with kindness. The sun, which is at least one million times bigger than the earth, sets in a puddle of muddied water. Al-Anbiya 21.30 Do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together before we clove them asunder? We made from water every living thing. Neither in the Bible nor in biology is there such an absurd and unrealistic idea. Life, according to the theory of evolution, started in water and not from water. Surah Yasin 36.40 It is not permitted to the sun to catch up the moon, nor can the night outstrip the day. al Safat 37.6 We have indeed decked the lower heavens with beauty in the stars. According to astronomy, there is no heaven and the stars are definitely not for decorative purposes. Fusilet 41.12 So he completed them as seven firmaments in two days. And he assigned to each heaven his duty and command. And we adorned the lower heaven with lights and provided it with guard. Neither the Bible, which is the source of this version of creation, nor astronomy mention any seven heavens. Al-Abasa, 80.17 From what stuff did he create man? From Nutfa, male and female semen drops. He created him and set him in due proportion. Neither Muhammad nor the translators of this verse got it right, since the woman provides the ovum and not the semen drops. Sunan Abu Dawood Hadith 4705 narrated by Al-Abbas bin Abdul Muttalib. I was sitting in Ba'tha with a company among whom the Apostle of Allah was sitting. He asked, do you know the distance between heaven and earth? They replied, we do not know. He then said, the distance between them is 71, 72 or 73 years. The heaven which is above, it is a similar distance. Above the seventh heaven, there is a sea. The distance between whose surface and bottom is like that between one heaven and the next. Above that, there are eight mountain goats. The distance between whose hoofs and haunches is like the distance between one heaven and the next. Then Allah, the blessed and the exalted, is above that. Muhammad, being a cameleer, measured distances by time. That is, the time it takes him and his animal to get from point A to point B. He of course applies the same methodology to describe astronomical distances without qualifying the rate of speed. Moreover, according to all the knowledge that we have regarding astronomy and cosmology, Muhammad's concepts are, to put it mildly, ignorant, stupid, and infantile. Sunan Abu Dawood Hadith 5222, narrated by Boraydih ibn al-Hasib, I heard the Apostle of Allah say, a human being has 360 joints, for each of which he must give arms. Bukhari Hadith 1.510 Allah Apostle said, 
If it is very hot, the severity of the heat is from the raging of the hellfire. According to human anatomy, Muhammad is once again wrong. His obsession with hell is unrelenting and satanic, as revealed in so many verses of the Quran and Hadith. Bukhari Hadith 4.482 Allah Apostle said, The hellfire complained to its Lord, saying, O my Lord, my different parts are eating each other up. So he allowed it to take two breaths, one in winter, the other in summer. This is the reason for the severe heat and bitter cold you find in weather. Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith 4.430 narrated by Abdullah bin Mas'ud. Allah Apostle, the true and truly inspired, said, The matter of the creation of a human being is put together in the womb of the mother in 40 days. And then he becomes a clot of thick blood for a similar period. And then a piece of flesh for a similar period. This is a gestation period of three months which is of course contrary to biology. So much for Muhammad's knowledge and divine inspirations. Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith 4.494 narrated by Ibn Umar. Allah Apostle said, you should not seek to pray at sunrise or sunset, for the sun rises between two sides of the head of the devil or Satan. Excellent Muhammadan science of astronomy. Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith 4.537 narrated by Abu Huraira. The Prophet said, if a house fly falls in the drink of any one of you, he should dip it in the drink, for one of its wings has a disease and the other has the cure for the disease. Muhammad's superb intellectual and hygienic analysis and conclusions are beyond measure. Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith 4.539 narrated by Abu Talha. The Prophet said, angels do not enter a house which has either a dog or a picture in it. Bukhari Hadith 4.546 Allah's Apostle said, Gabriel has just now told me of the answer. If a man has sexual intercourse with his wife and gets discharged first, the child will resemble him. And if the woman gets discharged first, the child will resemble her. Even the archangel of Allah is made to look profoundly stupid. Tabari 1.293 When Allah cast Adam down from a paradise, Adam's feet were on earth while his head was in heaven. Adam was not cast down from paradise. He was kicked out from the Garden of Eden, which was on earth and not in heaven. There are hundreds more of similar hadiths and Quranic verses, but I hope that the above are sufficient for the listeners to have learned a great deal of correct and truthful facts and knowledge from the mouth of Muhammad.